Good evening, everyone. You are welcome here on Extreme Generation Online. So this night, I know, I know that the Lord will do something in us. Sa bawat isang nanonood na to, magkakahiwa-hiwalay man tayo. But expect something and let the Lord move in your life. So before we hear the word of the Lord, before we sing a song, Let's take this moment to talk to God. So I will give you a time to thank the Lord for His goodness and just give a word of praise to Him ngayong gabing ito. So can I invite everyone to close their eyes at tayo ay manalangan ngayon. Take this moment to focus our life, to focus our minds on Him and thank Him for all His goodness. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Father, gusto lamang namin maranasan, Lord, ang presensya mong gabi ito, Lord. And God, right now, we will speak of praise to your name. We will worship you, God. And we will just focus our eyes to you tonight, Panginoon. Father, as we sing this song, Lord, let us take it to heart, Panginoon. At maibigay namin ng totoo at tunay ang aming buhay. Maialay lang namin ito sa inyo. Father God, ikaw lamang ang mag-glorify, ikaw lamang mapapurihan ngayong gabing ito. We thank you, Lord God, for everything, for your goodness, Lord. We give you praise, Lord, as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
door is sin you is sin you Lord I give you my heart I give you my soul I I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake. Lord, have your Yes, Lord, truly, God, we offer our lives to you. We offer our hearts to you, God. And Lord, may our lives glorify your name. May our lives worship you alone, Panginoon. God, maraming maraming salamat po for this night, Lord. At patuloy pa kaming mag-expect for something more from you, God. And Lord, sa word na maririnig namin ngayon, Lord, hindi kami hindi matatapos ang gabing ito na hindi kami punong-puno at blessed, Lord God. Father, we thank you for everything, Lord. Patuloy namin binubuksan ang aming puso, ang aming isipan para sa inyong salita. We thank you for everything, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening, Extreme Generation family. We are glad you are here. During these times, we still are unstoppable. We continue to gather in praising God and hearing His Word through our online services. So here's a few announcements for our services this week. Sunday Cell Celebration It is the Lord's Day, so early in the morning, we must be prepared with hearts set on Jesus and ready to receive His Word. This starts exactly 9 in the morning, Oh, don't forget to bring with me your Bible, notebook, and pen. Together, we will praise and honor our Lord Jesus. Midweek Service We must keep our desire to fill our minds with God's Word, so don't miss our live stream midweek service every Wednesday, 7 p.m. via Jesus at Ayabuko or FB page. For all the youths and singles, this one is for you. We can come together every Saturday, 7 in the evening, for our Extreme Generation Online that will be live on Extreme Generation Manila FB page. For those of you who are asking where to give their tithes and offering, here's our church's bank account. To keep you updated, make sure to like this pages to not miss any announcements. But before we head on to the message, 
we would like to give you a few reminders. Hello guys! Happy, happy Saturday! Yeah, and welcome to our online extreme generation! Okay, so lalo na kapag first time mo mag-tune in dito, yan, we welcome you with the love of the Lord! Welcome! Ayan, so I'm so happy to be here again tonight speaking or telling God's message for every one of us. Ayan. So, sa mga regulars, congratulations kung every Saturday you are tuning in, you're hosting a watch party, so great job for you! <laughs> okay, so, yan, and request ko, no, wag lang hanggang introduction, so sana po tapusin natin ang ating service ngayon. Okay, so, yan, this month of July, we have our series called The New Normal Trend. Okay, so this time of pandemic, we are practicing such precautionary measures about like um, hand washing, wearing face masks, sanitizing, social distancing, diba? So a lot more, okay? So that's for our physical body na hindi tayo ma-infect ng virus, okay? So um, ngayong gabi, Okay, for the month of uh, July, so we're going to talk about ano naman ba yung mga new normal trend when it comes to spiritual. Okay, so pwede kasing we never know. Okay, physically we're okay. Physically, we're not infected by the virus. Pero spiritually, we are infected. Okay, so mayroong kung may physical virus, which is coronavirus, mayroon din naman na spiritual. Okay, generally, these are sins. Okay, ito yung mga kasalanan na pwedeng hindi natin alam, infected na rin pala tayo. Okay, so last week, <clears throat> Kuya Pio talked about um, how to live a clean life. Ayan, so through washing, di ba? Um, Nagugas tayo ng kamay, cleansing, okay? So, nag-alcohol tayo, okay? So, tinuro niya naman spiritually on how to clean, on how to live a clean life, okay? Na, which is very essential para hindi tayo mahawaan, okay? Para hindi tayo um, ma-infect ng tinatawag natin, again, sin or kasalanan, okay? And tonight... I am very excited to share to you about, yan, kung sa ngayong COVID merong social distancing, meron din tayo, yan, spiritually, okay? So, I'm going to talk about, my topic is about keep your distance. So, bago tayo mag-start, let's pray first, okay? <laughs> Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this night. Thank you for another opportunity that we could learn from you, that we're able to hear your word, your message, Lord God, and our heart is open. We think it to saturate this, Lord God. And we humbly ask, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit to be upon us. Reveal yourself to us, O God, and continue, Lord God, we apply your blood, Jesus, in our online online streaming sa lahat ng nunood Panginoon we apply your blood Jesus Lord um we declare the victory that comes from you we declare Lord God na marami kang ituturo ngayong gabi kung paano namin mas mapapangalagaan not just the physical but our spiritual life Lord God especially in times like this Lord we entrust you everything we love you and we bring back to you all the glory honor and praises in Jesus name 
Amen and amen. Okay. So, ayan. Alright. So, ayun nga, sabi ko nga po kanina, no? Nowadays, um, pwede hindi natin namamalayan na um, infected na pala tayo. Diba? So, pwedeng hindi natin um, alam na spiritually, we're not really okay. Okay? So, lalas pa daw nyo yun. Walang church. I mean, we are the church. I mean, walang fellowship sa sa JGSFI churches. Okay? At sa lahat, I mean, yeah, majority of the churches, we are just doing um, online streaming. We use different platforms. So, pwedeng, you know, yung iba, hindi sanay sa ganun. Okay? So, dapat ngayon, masanay tayo. Okay? Kaya nga tayo may tinatawag na new normal trend. Alright? And, ayan, sabi dito, um, social distancing, okay, pwede rin siyang ma-i-connect sa spiritual distancing. Okay? So, last time, um, dumabas kami for my check-up, and nakita ko outside na parang normal na lang talaga ulit, di ba? So, ang daming tao, ang daming na ulit sa sakyan, ang daming ng jeep, and then people are not really practicing distancing. So, walang physical distancing. So, there, people are not mindful sometimes, di ba? May nakita pa ako one time na hindi nakamask, di ba? So, very dangerous, okay? So, ngayon, pwedeng ganun naman din tayo spiritually, no? So, tayo, we should make sure na um, spiritually, we distance ourselves as well from the things that do not matter, from the things that um, do not benefit us, okay? So, ano-ano ba yung mga bagay or yung mga, um, yeah, yung mga bagay na dapat um, nilalayuan natin? Ano-ano ba yung mga bagay na dapat dumidistansya tayo, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, di ba? So, kamusta naman? <laughs> okay, so I have here four points. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga dapat na um, bagay na nilalayuan natin? Things that are not beneficial for our spiritual life. Not just physical, but spiritual. Okay? So, yan. Keep your distance and disconnect yourself from these things. So, I'm gonna share four. So, number one. Yeah, make sure that you keep your distance from <clears throat> any negative and anxious thoughts. Yan. So, last time, no, kung nanood po kayo, um, si Bishop to, he talked about um, depression. Okay? Uh, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, there are a lot of people who are depressed, actually. And may mga kakilala rin ako na, yeah, they are already... Um, suffering from emotional problems or emotional issues, okay? So, clinically, they're not diagnosed as depressed, pero you will know it spiritually, di ba, na this person is suffering from a depression based dun sa shinere ni tatay to nung last Sunday, okay? So, ayan. So, let's keep away or keep our distance from any negative things or anxious thoughts na pwedeng, alam mo yun, hindi mo na mamalayan dahil sa kakaisip mo ng mga negative things, dahil sa pagiging negative mo, you worry a lot, okay? Naapektuhan ka na pala spiritually. Okay? Example ng mga negative things. Ayan. So, nagda-doubt ka na. Ayan. So, pwedeng nagda-doubt ka na. Lalo na, um, if you're if you belong to those people na nawala ng trabaho, di ba? Yung company na na-layoff or pwedeng um, yung family members mo or yung parents mo, di ba, nawala ng trabaho. So, yeah. Nakakalungkot talaga. Right? And ano pa? Um, pwede naman na uh, when it comes to your patience, no? Unti-unti nakawala yung patience mo. So, inip na inip ka na. Gusto mo na talaga lumabas. Ayaw mo na dito sa bahay. Ayaw mo na sa bahay. So, yan. Yeah, Nagkukos siya ng anxiety. Nagkukos siya ng emotional problems. ba? So, nalulungkot ka. So, imbis na mag-enjoy ka na lang because um, 
ayun, masyado mong minimeditate yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman dapat isipin. And so, kayo naapektuhan. Okay, sabi nga, thinking right is vital for our spiritual health. The way we think will impact every aspect of our life. Okay? So, totoo yun eh. Kung ano yung iniisip mo, actually, um, it will happen. Kung ano yung lagi mo minimeditate, yun yung magiging ikaw, yun yung magiging responses mo. Okay? So, talitan natin ng imbis na um, dumidikit ka sa mga negativities, yan, sa paligid, so, layo tayo. Okay? So, piliin natin lumayo sa mga bagay or thoughts na hindi naman nakakatulong sa atin. Alright? So, sabi nga sa Philippians 4a, di ba, alam natin to. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such thing. Okay? So, ayan. Huwag kung ano ang isipin natin. Layo tayo sa mga mm, mga nababasa nating negative posts sa social media, sa Facebook, sa Twitter. Layo tayo doon. Okay? Um, disiplinahin natin yung sarili natin na imbis na mag-worry tayo, let's have a grateful heart. Let's ha- let's choose to have a thankful heart. Diba? Na... In spite of the problems, in spite of the challenges that we are facing, lahat tayo ngayon may pinagdadaanan, pero we will still choose to become positive. Yan. Layo tayo sa negatibo, dikit tayo sa positibo. Okay? So, ayan. And number two. Okay. Layo tayo sa ating comfort zones. Ayan. <laughs> so, keep your distance from your comfort zone. Yan. So, literal. Diba? Comfort zone. So, masyado ka na duel sa kama mo. Diba? Yan. Mm, puro ka na lang nood ng kung ano-ano mga time-consuming na movies. Diba? O kaya naman, puro ka naman scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay? So, yan. So, wala ka nang nagawa. Okay? So, ano pa? Um, parang wala ka nang pakialam, wala ka nang emosyon. <laughs> Ngayong COVID, wala ka na ng emosyon, wala ka na nang pakialam sa mundo, wala ka na nang pakialam sa paligid. Miskin mo sa mga tao sa bahay mo, wala ka na rin pakialam. Ayan. So, iwas ka dyan sa comfort zone mo. Okay? Kaya naman, ayan, um, wala ka nang pakialam sa mga mahal mo sa buhay, ba diba? So, hindi mo man lang makamusta or anything. So, um, Layuan natin yung ganong attitude. Okay? So, dapat nga ngayon ay mas mag, maging madiscard tayo, mas sumipag tayo, gumawa tayo ng paraan. Diba? Kapag studyante ka, dahil wala pa namang pasok, you can, you can use your internet to study. Um, pwede ka magbasa-basa ng mga libro, mag-advance study ka. Diba? So, um, Wag yung ano, gaya ng ano preaching ko last time, di ba? Dapat, paglabas, pagtapos nitong quarantine, nitong pandemic na to, you will never be the same again, di ba? So, hindi na yung dating ikaw. Pag nakita kita tayo, yun ka pa rin. <laughs> okay? So, at paglabas mo, if everything come, um, becomes normal again, so, dapat, ayan, okay na. Nagbago ka. Okay? So, alis ka na sa comfort zone mo. Alright? So, do something. Okay? Let's be responsible enough. Huwag tayong masanay. Na everyday, ko ano lang yung mangyari, matapos lang yung araw, okay na sa'yo. Okay na. So, hindi dapat. So, keep away your distance from your comfort zone. Okay? Number three. Okay. So, sa panahon ngayon, dami kong nalalaman, di ba? <laughs> yan. So, number three is, yan, keep away or keep your distance from wrong relationships or wrong connections. Okay? So, magbabasa ako ng verse sa 1 Corinthians 10.23. Okay, sabi dito, We are free to do all things, but there are things which is, not wise to do. We are free to do all things, but not all things are for the common good. So, 
Yan, na-share ko na rin to last time. ba diba? Sa Tagalog, Tagalogin muna natin. Maaari natin gawin ang kahit ano, pero hindi lahat ay nakakabuti o nakakatulong. Totoo naman, ba diba? God gave us the free will, God gave us the freedom, pero let's not use it. Let's not abuse it. Okay? Let's not um take advantage of it. So, nagka-COVID lang, ba? Diba? Dami mo ng kachat. Nagka-COVID lang kung sino-sino na yung mga may kamit up ka pa, ba? Diba? <laughs> Nagka-COVID lang, bigla ka na nagkaroon ng tatlong girlfriend, dalawang boyfriend. So, ingatan natin, okay? So, wag, wag, wag basta-basta kung sino siya chat okay? Wag basta-basta join ng mga dating apps. <laughs> Okay, so yan, alam ko, um, nabuboard tayo sa bahay, di ba? Nakaka-board nga naman, di ba? Wala kang social life, di ba? So ngayon, meron ka social media life. Kaya, you're trying to, you know, connect to different people. Pero be careful, di ba? Hindi mo naman sila kilala. Be careful kung kanino ka nakikipag-usap, kung kanino ka kikihalubilo. Alright, so be guarded. Okay? So, ingatan natin yung buhay natin. Huwag kung sino-sino yung kinokontak natin pag may problema tayo. ba? Diba? So, hindi porket, yun nga, bored ka lang, kung sino-sino na lang din entertain mo. Okay? So, baka mamaya, um, yan. Porket na-stop lang yung, yung, yung schooling, na-stop lang yung ano natin, yung pasok, ba? Diba? Yan, feeling mo di ka nasajante. Estajante ka pa rin. So, maghintay pa rin. Let's follow the seasons of life. So, if you're still studying, just study, okay? Again, di porket board. Yan. Sino-sino nakakonect mo, okay? So, again, keep your distance from these wrong people, wrong relationships. Okay? Number four. Okay. Keep. Ayan, saan na ba? Number four, keep away from your past and your failures. And kahit kailan pa yan, kanina, pamali ka kanina, one year ago, di ba, before the pandemic, no March, no February, di ba, so nakamali ka, or pwedeng kahapon lang, may nagawa ka mali, di ba, so wag tayo mag-dwell doon. Let's keep away from our past and failures. So, huwag tayong mag masyadong, alam mo yun, let's not condemn ourselves, di ba? Um, it should lead us to repentance. Dapat, um, instead na nag-overthinking ka sa mga nagawa mong pagkakamali sa buhay, di ba, sa sarili mo or against someone, so dapat ito yung mas maging step, um, I mean, maging daan para uh, mas mag-grow. Diba? Mas maging learning ito sa atin. Every time nagkakamali tayo, diba? um, maging learning siya. Hindi nag-dwell tayo. So, huwag ka masyado didikit pag nagkamali ka. Diba? Huwag masyadong i-feel okay? yung past mo kahit pangit. Huwag, masyadong, huwag ka masyado mag-dwell dun. Kasi I'm telling you, it's not gonna help anymore. Okay? So, past is past. So, new normal na tayo ngayon. Kalimutan mo na yung nakaraan. Huwag mo nang compare yung before life and after life mo, okay? So, let's move on to the new normal. Okay? So, ayan. So, ano ulit yun? Yung apat. Keep away from number one. And any negative and anxious thoughts. Number two, keep away from your comfort zone. Number three, keep away or keep your distance from wrong relationships and wrong connections. And <coughs> Ang apat, um, keep your distance from your past and failures. So, okay, tama na yun. Okay? So, enough is enough. Alright? So, let's move on now. Okay? So, layo-layo. Huwag masyado didikit. Actually, hindi lang huwag dikitan. Layuan na talaga. Okay? So, layuan na yung mga hindi nakakatulong sa buhay natin, lalong-lalo na sa relationship natin kay Lord. Okay? So, um, now, yan. After nating layuan yun, okay, or mag-distance doon sa mga bagay na yun, now, I will give some points about, yan, saan naman tayo dapat mas nagko-connect? Ano naman yung mga bagay na mas um, dinidikitan natin? 
Okay, so connect closer. So I only have three points here. Okay, so number one, connect closer to the right growth environment. Ayan. So come to the right growth environment. So, ngayon, di ba, um, ngayong pandemic, hindi dapat, hindi ka dapat nakikita kung san-san. Dahil may coronavirus, delikado magpunta kung san-san. Okay? So, at the same time, spiritually, kailangan din na we are on the right place. We are on the right track. Hindi, hindi ka pa rin natatagpuan kung san-san. Di ba? Hindi pwedeng nawala lang yung church. Di ba? Kung ano-ano na pinupost mo. No, naligaw ka na din. Di ba? Mayroon ako nakita. Yung nag-church, okay pa siya. Pero, ngayon nagka- nag-quarantine, nag wala na. Nagbumura-mura na sa mga post. Diba? So, let's check ourselves. Nasaan ka na ngayon? Nasaan lugar ka na ngayon? Diba? Or literally, baka naman, diba? Bawal na nga lumabas. Labas ka pa rin ng labas. Baka nasa mali kang lugar na pinupuntahan mo. Sino-sino kinikita mo. Diba? So, let's be careful. Dapat, um, yan, um, pumunta tayo sa tamang lugar. Okay? Mas mag-connect tayo sa right place. Okay? Just like, of course, the very first, let's come to the presence of God. Okay? So, kasi pag hindi, kapag sa ibang lugar mas pinipili mo, kung saan-saan mo gustong pumunta, madali ka talaga mahaw, madali ka may infect, madali kang hindi maging okay. Right? So, madali kang may influence. So, wag pa kalat-kalat. Okay? Come to the right growth environment. Piliin mo kung saan ka mag-grow. Diba? Eh, wala nga church. Ate Claire, wala nga church ngayon. Yan. So, of course, yan nga, sabi ko, diba, we have different platforms. It's just one click away. So, diba, kakatamara mo pa ba yun? Na one click away na nga lang. Diba? May online service tayo. Ayaw mo pa. <laughs> so, yan. Hindi pa nga kasi pwede pong pumunta sa church. So, ayun lang. Um, sabi nga po sa Galatians 5.13, Yan, sabi po dito, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. So, you better stay home. Um, gawin mo yung mga dapat mong gawin sa, sa loob ng tahanan. Okay? So, um, Wag na, wag, please, wag pag-alagala, wag sino-sino minimit, wag, ayun, wag kang maligaw ng landas, okay? Dapat, tagpuan ka sa tamang lugar, okay? So, please lang. Ayan. And then, um, mag, mas mag-connect tayo, ayun, sa presence of the Lord above all. Let's be connected to the presence of God where we can experience growth talaga, where we can really, you know, Feel the presence of God. Okay? So, yan. Um, hindi man tayo nakikita. Yan. So, mag-watch party na lang tayo. Let's just watch each other sa <clears throat> mga watch parties natin. <laughs> okay? So, baka naman ngayon yung iba. May party-party pa. May party-party pa ngayon. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Ayan. So, number two. <clears throat> connect closer to people. Okay? So, yan yung ano, yan yung pangalawa natin. Dapat, ma, mm, mas gawin, okay? Pero, I'm not talking about the literal na you will connect to people. <clears throat> Labas ka dyan. No, that's not what I mean. But, <clears throat> what I mean is that continue to connect to the people na pinagkatiwala ni Lord sa'yo. Like, for example, if you're a cell leader, Yan, connect to your cell members. If you're a cell member, hindi ka pa cell leader, yan, connect to your cell leader. Connect your spiritual leaders. Okay? So, let's um, do the vision responsibly. Yan yung mas dapat natin pinaprioritize. Okay? Winning souls and making disciples. Huwag natin kalimutan yan. God has given us everything already. So, meron tayong Facebook. May Wi-Fi ka. To use your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram. Um, may Zoom, may mga Google Meet, and yan, Messenger Room, so a lot more. Yan, so um, dun tayo mas dumikit, yun yung mas gawin natin, yun yung mas i-prioritize natin. Okay, let's share the gospel to people boldly. 
Okay? So, huwag na wag tayong yeah, lalayo sa mga tao na kailangan natin kasi pag lumayo tayo, mapapahangok tayo. Totoo yun. Diba? Pag mas lalo mong nilayo yung sarili mo, walang magpipray para sa'yo. Walang magbibigay ng advice sa'yo. So, mas lalo kang kawawa in times like this, in times of this COVID, na kung saan we really need to encourage one another. Okay? So, let's avoid excuses pagka yung cell leader mo sinabi na um, mag-chat ka man lang or um, kinakamusta ka or mag-watch ka ng watch party. Diba? So, gawin natin yun kasi yun yung mas tama. Yun yung mas dapat natin ginagawa. Mas, na, mas dapat natin dinidikitan. Okay? So, yan. Again, connect closer to people, to your leaders. Alright? So, <clears throat> Also, ito pa, um, sa mga cell leaders ulit dyan, so huwag natin sukuhan yung mga cell members natin, okay? <clears throat> Kahit na yung iba, ayaw talaga nila. Parang they really distance themselves from us, okay? So it's okay, let's just encourage them, let's just pray for them. At least we know now we are doing our part, di ba? Although, yeah, we cannot control people, pero at least, Diba? We are giving our best para encourage pa sila para, alam mo yun, dalin sila sa tamang lugar, sa tamang dapat nilang kalagyan. Okay? Let's not give up. <laughs> okay. So, yan. Sabi dito sa Luke 12, verse 31. Okay. Kilala to sa Matthew 6:33 But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay. Pero I got the, I have here different version. Luke 12.31, ERV, sabi dito, What you should be thinking about is God's kingdom. Then He will give you all these other things that you need. Okay? So, ayun, let's just still be faithful doing the vision. Let's connect closer to our people. Uh, mas maging responsable pa tayong sa leaders, no? Kaya natin to. <laughs> Okay, so ayan, patuloy lang tayo hanggang sa makita ni Lord yung heart natin na no matter what happens, diba? Um, at the end of the day, ayan, you are um, a good and faithful servant. Okay? And last, ito. So, ito yung very, uh, for some, diba? It might be paulit-ulit or a cliche, but this is really what matters actually. Okay? Number three, <clears throat> Connect closer to the Word of God. Ayan. So, hinalik ko siya kasi ito nga yung pinaka-essential. Ito yung pinaka-hindi mawawala dapat sa trend. Okay? So, connect, connect closer to the Word of God. Ayan. So, kung sa leader ka na, dapat, hindi na is yung devotion. Please lang. Okay? Nawala, nawala lang yung church. Nawala na rin pati yung devotion mo. Okay? Anyway, hindi na wala yung church. We are the church. Okay? Na wala lang yung physical church na inaatin na natin. Where we gather in a place. Diba? Pero, ayun, wag, na ri- wag naman wawala yung devotion. Kasi ibang usapin na yan. Okay? So, kung ikaw, if you are, um, no, wala na appetite mo doing your devotion, so, ask yourself. Okay? Baka may mali. Baka infected ka na ng virus. Okay? Baka, um, contaminated ka na mga maling bagay. Baka mas dumidikit ka sa mga bagay na hindi naman nakakatulong. Kaya naapektuhan na yung relationship mo kay Lord, yung, yung prayer life mo, yung, yung um, communication mo with the Lord. Okay? So, sabi nga dito, Ephesians 6.12, sabi po dyan, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Okay? So, um, sabi nga, di ba, yung virus, yung coronavirus, um, hindi natin siya nakikita. Okay? Ito yung isa nating kalaban na hindi nakikita. Same goes with, um, this, in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. Okay? Um, hindi natin nakikita na pwedeng Um, we are being influenced by the world. Okay, sabi nga dyan, Against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. So, the same thing. Hindi rin natin nakikita ang kalaban. Diba? Pero, hindi mo alam 
dahil we're not careful, hindi natin alam, ano na pala, nai-infect na talaga tayo ng sin, ng mga bagay na hindi dapat, mga bad habits, di ba? So, let's be careful. Palakasin natin yung spiritual natin, kasi ayun nga, sabi, for our battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against um spirit, spirit to spirit. So, ayan. Kung paano natin pinapalakas yung physical bodies natin, same thing. Kailangan palakasin talaga din natin yung spiritual life natin. Okay? So, I encourage you guys na um, let's give more time. Let's spend more time sa relationship natin kay Lord, yung fellowship natin sa mga ka-church natin. So, ayan. Kahit yung iba, no? Parang they, yung iba mong kakilala. Diba? Nawawala na. Pero just keep praying and then just be consistent. You yourself. Okay? So, laban lang. We are, um, we are one. <laughs> we heal as one. Okay? So, we were overcome together. Alright? So, ayun. Palakasin natin again yung spiritual natin so that we can fight against the virus, against sins, the sins and the attacks of this world. Amen? So, and ulit yun, let's connect closer to number one, right growth environment. Number two, connect closer to our people. Okay. Number three, connect closer to the word of God. Okay. So, yan, enjoy natin yung relationship natin kay Lord sa ating um, mga kapwa uh, believers. Okay. At sa marami pang tao na hindi pa nakakilala kay Lord, palakasin din natin sila. Right? Para na sa ganun, kung infected man sila, God will use you para mapagaling sila spiritually, para maka-recover sila spiritually. Okay? So, yan. Always remember, natin to kalimutan, let's disconnect ourselves. Let's keep away from the things that do not benefit us. So, pagsikapan natin lumayo or umiwas sa mga bagay na hindi naman nakakatulong pero nakakasama pa sa atin. And again, let's start connecting or let's connect closer sa mga bagay na nakakatulong sa atin, the right environment, the right people, and mostly, yan, the Word of God. Okay? So, and I want to end on this verse in 1 John 2 verses 15 to 17. Sabi dito, <clears throat> Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father but from the world. The world and its desires pass away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. Okay? So, whoever does the will of God lives forever. Okay? So, lahat ng bagay dito sa mundo, again, temporary lang po. So, huwag natin sayangin. Layuan lang natin. Okay? We know we can do this. Because sabi nga, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, wala tayong hindi kaya. Kayang kaya natin through the, by the grace of God and through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? So, yeah, let's just keep pressing forward. Huwag tayong mapagod. Um, huwag tayong mawala ng landas. Huwag tayong maligaw. Kung naligaw man, let's ask God for forgiveness. And then, let's go back. Okay? So, let's be faithful in small things. Kahit nasa bahay lang tayo, um, makita ni Lord na we are faithful and I'm very sure God will bless you. God will bless your family and everything that you have, you will be blessed, okay? And tandaan natin, no? As we follow the Lord, as we obey God, our labor is not in vain. Sabi nga sa 1 Corinthians 15.15, uh, our labor will never be in vain. So, hindi masasaya ang lahat ng ginagawa natin para kay Lord. Okay? So, I love. I invite you now to close your eyes and let's pray. Hallelujah, God. Father, thank you so much for this um, another time na binigay mo. Thank you for your revelation that in times like this, Lord God, we really have to be wise, to be mindful, Panginoon, sa mga bagay 
na kino, kung saan kinokonnect namin sa sarili namin. Lord, thank you for teaching us, for reminding us that we need to keep away or to keep distance from the worldly things, Lord God, sa mga bagay na naglilid sa amin sa kasalanan. Lord, if once we have been led by sin, Lord God, or mga bagay na uh, nag-cause ng sin, Lord God, sa buhay namin, Lord, forgive us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus, and by the blood of Jesus, we receive that forgiveness. And Lord, right now, turuan niyo pa po kami, Panginoon, na mas lalong dumikit sa salita mo, dumikit sa tamang lugar, dumikit sa mga tao na mas makakatulong sa amin at sa mga tao na dapat din namin tulungan. Lord God, I pray right now for all the viewers, Lord God, at nang nanonood, patuloy mo na i-bless, patuloy mo i-guide, Lord God, sa will mo, that your will be done upon each and everyone's life, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I pray for the the blessings be upon every family right now, to flow upon every family in the name of Jesus. Father God, if there's anyone here na merong <coughs> anxious thoughts or negative thoughts right now, I, I pray and I ask for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord, send forth your healing, Lord God, emotionally, mentally. If there's a need of healing physically, Lord God, I, I speak... um physical healing in the mighty name of Jesus, that by your stripes we are healed, Lord God. Father God, right, right now, we are also praying, Lord God, kung meron man um, someone, Panginoon, na, um, in need financially, Lord God, or in any other things, Lord God, Lord, I pray, and I ask, Lord God, that you will provide for the needs, Lord God, of these people. Lord, maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. We are already victorious because of what you have done on the cross. Lord, um, patuloy kami na maglalakad at didikit sa presensya mo, Lord God. Samahan mo kami in every step of the way, Lord, and maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Tuloy na ingatan mga bawat isa. We remember our pastors, Lord God, our leaders, our cell members, and our nation Philippines right now. Lord God, um, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in our lives. Maraming maraming salamat po. We bring back to you all the glory, honor, praises, and glory, Panginoon. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Ayan. Thank you, and, and see you guys next time. God bless. those who are new here, we gladly welcome you. If you have questions, you are free to message us. If you want to know more about Jesus, or maybe you are deciding to start a new life with Him, we encourage you to be part of His cell. You can also message us on this page. Again, this is Extreme Generation Online.